Ever wondered how the digital world around you functions? It's all thanks to Information and Communication Technologies, or ICT. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is ICT? Well, it's a broad area of technology that emphasizes unified communications and the integration of various elements like telecommunications, computers, and necessary enterprise software, middleware, storage, and audiovisual systems. Let's break it down a bit. ICT covers any product that stores, retrieves, manipulates, transmits, or receives information electronically in a digital form. This includes the personal computer you might be using right now, the digital television you watch your favorite shows on, the email you use to connect with others, and even the robots that are increasingly becoming part of our everyday lives. But ICT isn't just about individual devices. It's also about the convergence of different networks. Imagine a spider web with each strand representing a different type of network, be it audiovisual, telephone, or computer networks. ICT brings all these strands together into a single system, making our digital world interconnected and unified. The beauty of ICT is its vastness. It covers everything from the radio you tune into, the television you binge watch, the cellular phone you can't live without, to the computer and network hardware that form the backbone of our digital lives. It even includes satellite systems that beam information down from space. So every time you access information, store a file, transmit data, or manipulate information in a digital form, you're interacting with ICT. It's the invisible force that powers our modern world, from the smallest smartphone to the most complex supercomputer. ICT has transformed our lives in ways we often take for granted. It has changed how we work, learn, communicate, and entertain ourselves. It has made the world smaller, bringing people and ideas together from across the globe. It has sparked revolutions and innovations, reshaping industries and societies. The world as we know it wouldn't exist without ICT. To fully grasp the significance of information and communication technologies, we must journey back to its origins. Our voyage takes off with one of the earliest computing devices, the abacus. This simple yet ingenious tool was used thousands of years ago for arithmetic calculations. Fast forward to the 17th century, and we find ourselves in the age of mechanical calculators that, with a bit of manual labor, could perform complex calculations. As we move into the 19th century, we encounter Charles Babbage's analytical engine. Although it was never fully built during his lifetime, this device is considered the conceptual predecessor of the modern computer. Babbage's engine was designed to use punched cards to carry out calculations and data storage, a concept that would later become integral to the development of computers. Approaching the mid-20th century, we find ourselves in the midst of the digital revolution. This era saw the birth of the first electronic computers. Initially, these were gigantic room-sized machines primarily used for military purposes during World War II. These computers, while primitive by today's standards, were a significant leap forward in technology and laid the groundwork for what was yet to come. In the late 1960s, we witnessed the creation of ARPANET, a project funded by the U.S. Department of Defense. This network connected four major computers at universities in the southwestern U.S., forming the groundwork for the Internet as we know it today. It was a game-changing development, enabling computers to communicate across vast distances. So, as we end our journey, we see the seeds sown for the digital world we live in today. From the humble beginnings of the abacus, through the mechanical calculators and the analytical engine, to the first electronic computers and the creation of the internet, each milestone played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of information and communication technologies. These historical milestones set the foundation for the digital world we live in today. The rise of personal computing was a game changer in the ICT landscape. As we journey through the history of information and communication technologies, we come to a defining moment, the advent of personal computing. This pivotal era, spanning the 1970s and 80s, marked a seismic shift in the way we interacted with technology. Before this time, computers were massive, room-sized behemoths, primarily used for military purposes or by large corporations. They were intimidating, inaccessible, and to the average person, largely incomprehensible. But all that was about to change, thanks to the vision and innovation of a few pioneering companies. Apple, IBM, and Microsoft, these names would become synonymous with the personal computing revolution. Each of these companies played a distinct and crucial role in making computers smaller, affordable, and most importantly, user-friendly. Apple, under the leadership of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, launched the Apple II in 1977 a machine that many consider to be the first truly user-friendly personal computer. 
It was a hit among hobbyists and educators, and it set the stage for the personal computer revolution. Meanwhile, IBM, a company with a long history in computing, released the IBM personal computer in 1981. This machine's success in the business market helped cement the role of personal computers in the professional world. And then we have Microsoft, led by Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Microsoft's contribution to personal computing was largely through software. Their operating system, Mississippi, DOS, became the standard for IBM-compatible personal computers, paving the way for the Windows operating system, which continues to dominate the PC market today. The rise of personal computing didn't just change the face of technology, it transformed our relationship with it. Computers were no longer distant, intimidating machines. They became personal tools, accessible and usable by everyone, from children to the elderly. They moved from the realm of scientists and corporations into our homes and schools. Personal computing democratized access to technology, making it accessible to everyone. The dawn of the 21st century brought with it the mobile revolution and the birth of the web. As the new millennium turned, mobile telephony was on the rise, paving the way for a whole new world of wireless technologies. The late 20th century had seen the introduction of the first cell phones, but these were bulky, expensive devices with limited capabilities. However, as we moved into the 21st century, these mobile devices became smaller, more affordable, and increasingly powerful. The first decade of the new century was marked by a rapid growth in mobile connectivity. This was the era of the feature phone, with devices offering rudimentary internet access, basic multimedia functionality, and a range of other features. Yet the real game changer was just around the corner. In 2007, the introduction of the first iPhone marked the beginning of the smartphone era. This revolutionary device combined a mobile phone, an iPod, and an internet communication device into a single handheld gadget. It was a groundbreaking moment that transformed the way we communicate, access information, and interact with the digital world. While the mobile revolution was taking shape, another significant development was happening in parallel, the birth of the World Wide Web. In the early 1990s, British computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web, transforming the internet from a scientific and governmental research network into a global public platform. The web made the internet accessible to the masses. It allowed for the creation of websites and web pages, which could be easily linked via hypertext. This meant that information could be shared and accessed across the globe, breaking down barriers and creating a truly connected world. The combination of the mobile revolution and the birth of the web has had a profound impact on our lives. It has changed the way we communicate, the way we work, the way we learn, and the way we entertain ourselves. It has made information and communication technologies an integral part of our daily lives. These advancements redefined how we communicate and access information. The digital world is constantly evolving with the advent of cloud computing and the Internet of Things. As we moved into the 21st century, we witnessed an extraordinary shift in the ICT landscape. This shift was marked by the rise of cloud computing, a technology that allows us to store and process data on remote servers accessed via the internet instead of on local servers or personal computers. Cloud computing brought with it a new level of convenience and efficiency. It made it possible to access data and applications from anywhere, at any time, on any device with an internet connection. It also provided a cost-effective solution for businesses, eliminating the need for expensive hardware and in-house IT infrastructure. But the revolution didn't stop there. Alongside cloud computing emerged the Internet of Things, or IoT. This is a network of physical devices, from smartphones and wearable devices to home appliances and vehicles, that are connected to the Internet, collecting and sharing data. Imagine your alarm clock not just waking you up, but also notifying your coffee maker to start brewing a pot. Or your fridge notifying you when you're out of milk. That's the power of IoT. It's about making our everyday devices smarter, more efficient, and more interconnected. The impact of these technologies on data processing, storage, and sharing has been immense. They've enabled us to handle vast amounts of data in real time, leading to better decision-making and improved operational efficiency. They've also transformed our personal lives, making our daily routines more convenient and our homes smarter. But as with any technology, they also bring challenges. Issues around data privacy and security, as well as the digital divide, where some people have access to these technologies while others do not, are significant concerns that we must address as we continue to navigate this digital era. Yet, despite these challenges, the potential of cloud computing and IoT is undeniable. They're not just buzzwords. They're fundamental parts of the digital world that are shaping our present 
and will continue to shape our future. These technologies have revolutionized the way we interact with the digital world. To navigate the digital world, it's important to understand its language. Let's dive into the language of ICT, starting with computer systems. At the heart of all our digital interactions, you'll find computer systems. These consist of hardware and software. The hardware is the tangible part of the computer, including components like the central processing unit, memory, and motherboard. The software, on the other hand, refers to the programs and operating systems that enable these components to function together and perform tasks. Next up, we have networking and data communication. This is all about connecting various computing devices and facilitating communication between them. Think of it as the digital equivalent of a conversation. Key concepts here include local area networks, or LANs, which connect computers in a limited area, and wide area networks, or WANs, which connect computers over a larger geographical area. Protocols like TCP IP, essentially the rules that govern data communication, are also crucial to this conversation. Moving on, we encounter database systems. Imagine a library, but instead of books, it's filled with data. Databases are structured sets of data held in a computer. Database management systems, or DBMs, are the software that interact with users, other applications, and the database itself to capture and analyze this data. Last, but certainly not least, we have web technologies. These are everything related to the World Wide Web. Web browsers, web servers, web protocols like HTTP, and web development languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all fall under this category. They're the building blocks of the internet as we know it. Understanding these concepts is key to unlocking the potential of ICT. And with this knowledge, you're well on your way to becoming a digital navigator in the world of ICT. Remember, every journey begins with a single step, and understanding the language of ICT is that first crucial step. ICT is not just about the past and present, it's about the future. As we navigate through the 21st century, the landscape of information and communication technologies is ever-changing, offering us a glimpse into a future where the boundaries between the physical and digital worlds blur. Imagine a world where artificial intelligence isn't just a concept from science fiction movies, but a part of our everyday lives. AI, with its ability to learn and adapt, is poised to revolutionize how we interact with technology. From personalized recommendations to autonomous vehicles, the potential applications of AI are endless. In tandem with AI, we see the rise of robotics, transforming industries from manufacturing to healthcare. Picture robots performing intricate surgeries with precision or carrying out dangerous rescue missions, all while being controlled from a safe distance. We can't talk about the future of ICT without mentioning the Internet of Things, a world where everyday objects are connected to the Internet, communicating and exchanging data. Your refrigerator could alert you when you're running low on milk, or your thermostat could learn your schedule and adjust the temperature accordingly. Augmented and virtual reality technologies are also on the horizon, promising to alter our perception of reality. From immersive gaming experiences to virtual tours of far-off places, Arkansas and VR are set to redefine entertainment and education. Blockchain technology, the underlying technology of cryptocurrencies, is another emerging field. Its potential extends beyond digital currencies, with applications in secure and transparent transactions, from voting systems to supply chains. And let's not forget about quantum computing. While still in its infancy, this technology promises to solve complex problems that are currently beyond the capabilities of classical computers, potentially revolutionizing fields like cryptography and material science. These technologies, and more, are the future of ICT. They promise to reshape our world making it more connected, more efficient, and more exciting. But with these advancements come challenges. Issues of privacy, security, and ethical use of technology will become even more critical as we move forward. As we look to the future, ICT will continue to shape our lives in ways we can't even imagine. Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey through the world of ICT. We've delved into the intricacies of this digital realm, from the early computing devices like the Abacus and Babbage's analytical engine, to the rise of personal computing in the 70s and 80s, We've explored the mobile revolution, the birth of the World Wide Web, and the transformative power of cloud computing and the Internet of Things. We've also decoded the language of ICT, understanding concepts such as computer systems, networking, database systems, and web technologies. Looking ahead, we've glimpsed the exciting future of ICT as it continues to evolve and shape our world in unimaginable ways. As we've seen, the world of ICT is fascinating, complex, and ever-evolving. So stay curious, keep learning, and you'll be ready to navigate the digital world.